Hi everybody, Hendis here. Um, today I'm going to be going through an unboxing of the Elite Diretto Smart Turbo Trainer. If you're not familiar with the concept of turbo trainers, it's essentially a contraption that you can attach a bike frame to, you can see one here, um, and that basically turns an outdoor bike into an indoor bike, a stationary bike. But it's really cool because you can connect this one to the computer through um, Bluetooth or and Plus, and it lets you lets you go on virtual rides, as you can see here. Um, you just hop on and start pedaling, and off you go. Um, if you're going uphill, the trainer makes it harder. If you're going downhill, the trainer makes it easier. Really cool stuff. My good friend Ross, who loaned me his turbo trainer, his Duretto, while he's been away on holiday, is actually going to be popping around later and uh, we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side functional threshold power test or ramp test. He's bringing his bike and we're going to do that side-by-side -side. so stay tuned for that um, and yeah let's let's get into this thing. Before I open the box I do just want to point out that Wiggle, the company that I bought it from, other bike sales places are available, um, they really know their market. I, uh, I went to just have a little check in the documents pouch last night to see if there was anything I needed to cover up for the video and uh, well what did I find S nestled behind the uh, the delivery note a packet of Harry Bows they really know their market these guys so thanks Wiggle I've never done an unboxing video before um, I'm assuming they just speak for themselves really you're taking something out of the box um, in a box so far. Um, <laughs> it is literally a box within a box. I think what I'll probably do is uh, turn it over, <laughs> open it up from underneath and take off this outer box. Interactive Power Meter Trainer by Elite. Change your ride. It has changed my ride actually, it really has. Um, I didn't know anything about functional threshold power before I plugged this thing in. Um, I mean, I got an account on uh, intervals.icu. Oh man, the, the data you can see on there. You just hook it up to your Strava account and oh, it's amazing. Anyway, on with the unboxing dude, come on. Right, now as with any home appliance, we've got the obligatory chunk of false diary. With like a piece of cardboard stuck in the top. I think 
that was to go around the, the cassette spindle thing. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Is that on this side? All right. Right, we've got another box within a box within a box. Um, I'm going to try and guess at what might be in here. Possibly, oh, another box within a box within a box. Oh, this one's quite a bit heavier than this box within a box within a box. Good grief, what is in these? This must be the stabiliser legs, surely. Yeah, yes. More hot diary. Starting to think a black t-shirt probably wasn't the best choice of costume for this video. Um, yeah, stabiliser arm, leg. Number one. Looking at Ross's there, that would be the right hand side one. The other one for the left. So, some assembly required. Let's see what's in this box within a box within a box. I'm curious, like, what could it be looking at that one? Maybe the, the axle, the spindle? I don't know. But there's more than that in here. Oh, is it, it's going to be the front stabilised. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that one sticks out the front, stabilizes it frontwards. It's in this groove here, front wheel, so it's not like bobbling about and it's at the same level, it keeps your bike straight instead of you like leaning forward. Um, you can get some that when you sit the bike in, you can actually still steer. Um, I'm not sure how useful of a feature that would be, really. Um, but at any rate, that's a nice little thing to put on the floor. Slides about, probably no more than the copy of uh, Ross and Wilson. Anatomy and Physiology and Health and Wellness that I'm currently using. Other than that and Fizz books are available. Um, right. What else? Ah, here's the axle and the load of bolts. Quick release axle. Um, not a lot more to say about that than that really. Um, manual. Thank you for being an Elita. Get started with your free trial. Claim your subscription at redeemelite-it.com. A digital coupon. It doesn't say what it's for. Um, I'll look into that later. Manual. Don't really need one. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, Ross had this up and running in like five minutes. Essentially, if you can take the back wheel off a bike and put it back on, you can attach a turbo trainer to your bike. Um, we've got the bolts. They're going to be, oh, and a cheeky Allen key and a hex wrench. Yeah. Well, Allen key is a hex wrench. Dick. Um, not sure what these are for. Thankfully, it has pictures inside. <laughs> right, accessories. Oh, it's got a big list of all the accessories. So you've got your quick release. Five millimeter, obviously this. Um, you've got your through axle. I would have thought that was a through axle. Um, Oh, 
we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You've got, you've got these pieces here, and you've got like a piece of paper that tells you what it is. Um, and you've got a couple of rings too. I thought they were all rings when they fell out of the thing, like rubber all rings, but they're not. They're metal as well. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, the, the instructions are pretty clear on on how you you're going to put everything together. So I, I, I have no issue with that. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll just leave them over there. We'll keep all the all the bits here. That's the one. We'll take these out. Four of them, one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them, two of them, one of them, one of them, and one of them. Right. And now, what you all came here to see, the elite, oh, I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you that there's another box within a box within a box here. They are, this is going to be the power adapter. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Nothing else that we need. Yeah. Wall wart. And Yankee socket. UK socket. What kind of socket is that? Anybody? Comment below. And how's that gonna go on? Ah, oh, dead easy, dead easy. That's just gonna click on there somehow. It's not going to be too hard, we'll sort it out, we'll figure it out. Right, so now on to what you all came here for, which is the Elite Diretto Smart Turbo Trainer, or Interactive Power Meter Trainer, as it's marketed. Ooh, I'll make a bit of room. And see what we've got. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Anything else in here before it finds its way to the tip? That was no, but I don't like to be sure. No, just another chunk of polystyrene. And that's it. Um, You need to show an empty box in an unboxing video. There it is. Nothing else in here. Um, it's uh, it's been unboxed. Looks like it's uh, not the first time either. It's like powdery marks on it. Comes off. Who knows? So, this is the business end of it. If you were looking at um, a bicycle, that way would be the front end. This is where you're going to attach your cassette, bring it over. This is where you would attach your cassette. This is just like the hub on the rear wheel of your, your, your bicycle. Um, put your cassette on and then simply, you know, once you've figured out what all these bits are for and you've got your axle through, it really is no different to putting a back wheel on a bike. You just feed the chain round, you know, do that little dance. Get the frame sitting on the axle, and uh, and that's it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, 
that is the elite diretto oh i'll just point out as well on this side this is where you've got all your connectivity lights so you've got uh, your power light your bluetooth light and your amp plus light um, and that's it really we'll get the legs on we'll get it all hooked up and then uh, join us again when ross is here and we're doing the side by side ftp till then uh, thanks for watching consider liking and subscribing um, i'd really like to get the channel up to a thousand views just for the crack really see what happens when you get there um, 